So here is the MMTE daily chart. I think I did this one one of these days on this big move here, but uh, then you can see what happened. Came up here and just got whacked down by the 200 day simple moving average, uh, which is exactly what this moving average is trying to do. This one's trying to crush the price, and the 50 day simple moving average, which is this purple line here, is trying to act as a trampoline. And so far, you can see both are doing exactly what they want to do here. 200 day acted as the resistance crushed the price back down but then right here two days in a row the 50 day acted as a trampoline and in a sense bounced the price back up so that leads us to kind of a little showdown that is approaching and within the world of trend lines which we could do um, just real quick we have this trending down this trending up which would give us a symmetrical triangle taking shape here, but we're not going to use tread lines. We're just going to simply use the moving averages. We have, like I pointed out, the 200 day sloping downwards, the 50 day sloping upwards. So instead of the tread lines, this is what's forming our symmetrical triangle. So the question really just becomes who's going to win? Is the 200 day going to continue to crush the price down? Or is the 50 day going to win out by continuing to act like a trampoline and bounce the price upwards? You know, your guess is as good as mine, but that is the current pattern that's been taking shape. And it's really just a question of sitting back and seeing what happens. Now, after today and seeing this nice volume surge and the price reaction, I would give um, the advantage to the bulls, but, you know, that's just, you know, simply a guess. And just because they may have the advantage today, who knows what tomorrow may bring. But given. Now I should say if there's this big volume bar and the price barely budged then I would give the you know advantage to the bears but given the price did get some movement with this nice volume you know this was definitely a good day for the bulls but in the you know whole pattern of things here it's just going to be a wait and see um, and obviously the more time that passes by the closer and closer these uh, two moving averages are going to get together so that's where it's going to really kind of determine and see what sort of action finally breaks out from this uh, perspective and when I say breakout you know it could be a breakout to the downside or upside uh, but that's what makes this stuff so good and kind of why I call these pay-per-view battles because it truly is like two trains here coming on a collision course and got to see which uh, way the price does want to end up getting getting moving in you know whatever direction so um, that's pretty much what the chart is right now um, I know it's not too exciting when I just talk about two moving averages, but that's basically as easy as it um, is, you know, coming across from an apparent standpoint as symmetrical triangle. But instead of tread lines, we're just using uh, the two moving averages, 50 day and 200 day. So if there are any other questions on it, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out BullWarriorStocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free, no strings attached. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. Once again, this was MMTE. Thanks for listening. And let me know if you have any questions.